Did you have a type you wanted to go on to? Obviously, at your point of joining the Navy, did you have like a, a type? Yeah, you like that's the one I want to go for. Yeah. So you know, at the time in college, the F fourteen was still around. Um, even in flight school, at the very beginning, the F fourteen was still around. The last F fourteen class was a few weeks before I started selection into that. Um, so obviously, growing up with Top Gun and things like that. The F-14 fighters, um, but the Hornet was coming into its own as well. So yes. there was something about the Hornet. It could have been the single seat, you know, you're 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 all on your own, the multi-role. Um, but but fighters were really where I wanted to be. But if I couldn't do that, I still wanted to land on a ship, you know. So I really didn't give a whole lot of thought to the P-3 or helicopters or things like that. Not to say there's anything wrong with those communities. It's just if I was going to go fly helicopters. I think it would have been more fun in the Air Force because they had different missions. If I was going to go fly a big winged aircraft, well, well, the Air Force obviously has some amazing big wing aircraft that do some really, really cool missions. So for the Navy, it was really I, anything that was carrier uh, related is what I wanted to be a part of. So, so, so how do you ultimately like... it was the fighters first. Is what yes. was, my goal was fighters first and then see what happens. Yeah. So how did you feel when you got selected to fly the, the Mighty E2? <laughs> well, it's interesting how it went down. So, so I actually did Air Force flight training for the first part. So I wasn't with the Navy, um, and that was actually probably better for me because I needed the structure. The Air Force training is very structured, and the Navy training is very not. Um, okay. So I went through this whole thing, and and you you get your dream sheet. You know, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to fly? And I was like, well, I want to go to Kingsville, Texas, and fly fly jets or I want to go to Meridian, Mississippi and fly jets. And then I put E2, C2 because they were a combined platform. Um, and then I think I put helicopters and P3s, can't remember. And the commander that was in charge of all us came up to me one day in the hallway and he was a former F-14 Rio to pilot. He had done that in his career. Um, and he asked me, he said, hey, why, why'd you put E2s over helicopters and P3s? And I told him kind of what I just said to you, it's, it's all about landing on the ship if you're in the Navy. Um, so he went off and selection night came and in typical U S Navy fashion, they don't manage it well. So one week <laughs> everybody gets fighters and the next week everybody's flying helicopters right. and it just becomes this reactionary. Whereas the air force was really good. You know, they had the slots planned out for the year. So there was no jet slots. Um, but he got me an E2 C2 slot cause he knew I wanted to land on the ship. And, um, and at that point, you know, and I, I tell, tell young guys and girls like, I did want to fly fighters, but I really wanted to get my wings because I had some struggles, not necessarily academically in flight school, but with air sicknesses and stuff. So my goal was I just want to get my wings on whatever it is. The fact that I can be a fixed wing carrier based pilot was was cherry on top. Um, and I was real happy with that. So I was not down at all. I was excited. Um, I didn't know a damn thing about the E2 at all. <laughs> no <laughs> idea what it did. Barely even knew what it looked like like so um <laughs> but here i am <laughs>